Hi everyone, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to read them. So I'm going to jump right on. I'm going to jump right in. This is a reading for the Aries Divine Feminine. And this is my series called What is Going On in the Subcon in Your Subconscious. So to my left is the situation, person, place, or thing, uh, cycle, experience that you had in the past. In my center is what is going on in your subconscious that you need to be aware of, that you need to heal, that you need to acknowledge, you need to deal with. And to my right is overall guidance from spirit along with the general theme of the reading. So we have here Aries. In the past, we have man holding a heart. Four of Earth. Cornucopia. And five of fire in reverse. So in the past, Divine Femmes, you, you stop fighting with your person. Because you wanted to, you wanted to work with them. You wanted to be with them. You wanted to show them that you want to build with them. You want wish fulfillment with them. You want the whole shebang. You know, you want 10 of cups. So you kind of just dropped your defenses and you let them be. I'm picking up the energy of a divine feminine that really, really has this desire to build a solid foundation with their person, right? Because you believe that you could do this with your person. You could have this with your person. This was also a reason why you just kind of like, you didn't want to argue with them. You didn't want to fuss and fight. You didn't want any drama with them. Mm-hmm. Your person also didn't want any drama with you because I'm picking up the energy of a masculine, a divine masculine that doesn't want to fight. They don't want drama. They don't want any problems either. And they wanted these things with you as well. So you guys wanted the same things. So what's the problem? <laughs> okay, let's go to your subconscious, divine fam. We have man holding a coin in reverse. Two of fire in reverse. Twelve of water in reverse. And seven of fire. So, subconsciously, divine fam, I'm hearing blocking. You're blocking the connection. Because subconsciously, you don't think that you can work with this person. You don't think that this person wants you. You don't think they want to be a, a team. You don't think they want partnership. You don't think they want a real relationship with you. Spirit said that's not true. You also subconsciously, you don't think that you can work with them in terms of they don't understand you. Uh, they don't, they're kind of difficult to talk to. You think, you feel like your person doesn't get you. And subconsciously, you know you need to follow your intuition with this because you may be overthinking. You may be overthinking this relationship, this relationship dynamic. Because the overall theme for uh, this reading and guidance from spirit is victory. So when you will get what you want. You just need to stop holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back, Aries. Subconsciously. Because on the surface, it seems like you may be, I'm hearing yes, yes, man. You may be going along with everything, going with the flow because you don't want any problems. But you know what? Challenges are not there to put a roadblock in your path. Challenges are there to show you uh, your strengths, to show you your character to show you they're there to build you so I'm, I'm picking up strongly that being being overly passive or 
just being a yes woman or a yes man, whatever you want. Okay, I don't want any problems. So whatever you want, if you want to do things this way, okay. If you believe things this way, okay, fine. You still have to be yourself. You still have to be an individual. You are unique, right? And you, you are here to show that, especially as a twin flame. As a divine feminine, you are here to show your authenticity, what it looks like. You are a living example to people of what being authentic, being unique, being an individual looks like, a divine being looks like. So you need to stop holding yourself back. You need to stop holding yourself back from being who you really are because you're trying to get along with your person. Because that's just going to cause resentment later on down the line. If you continue to do this and your intuition is telling you for some of you too, this is not your person. So it's split. Some of you, this is your person. Some of you, this is someone from the past who is not your person. They're karmic and your intuition is telling you that this person, this person is, does not want to, they don't want to be in a real relationship with you. They're not trying to help you. Um, some of you, this person could be around because you have money and they want it. Some of you, this person does not really care about you. I'm hearing something about advice. This person may take bad advice from people as well about you. They may have people in their ear talking to them about you and, and they're listening, right? That is why they don't want... They don't want a serious relationship. That's why they're not trying to work with you. Some of you, your person is listening to other people. And that is why they kind of, they kind of hold back. But spirit is saying to be patient. All is not lost. You need to focus on yourself and you need to listen to your intuition because you are going to get what you want. You are going to have victory. With or without your person, you're going to have victory. So everything that you are, be a yes man or be a yes woman to yourself. Say yes to life. Say yes to yourself. Go along with the things that you want to do. Be who you want to be. Because that is how you are going to attract your person in. Because they see you standing in your power and owning it and walking in your authenticity. Your person will get bored if you if you continue to do this, uh, whatever you want, hon, okay, sure, they'll get bored. Because I'm picking up the energy of a divine masculine that wants someone who is assertive, that wants to be with someone who stands up for themselves. That wants to be that wants to be with someone who knows their power and they're not afraid to wield it. Some of you too, Divine Femmes, you're taking, you're getting bad advice from people about your relationship. They don't know. These people are not in twin flame relationships. These people are not twin flames. So you don't need to be taking advice from them because they don't know shit about shit. Right? It's like a, it's like a person who doesn't have kids and they want to tell you about how to raise your kids. What the fuck do you know about kids? Right? What do you know? You can't tell me. You have to go to somebody who knows about children. You have to talk to people who know about a twin flame dynamic. Talk to other twin flames. Join the twin flame community if you are not a part of the twin flame community. Right? You have a whole bunch of twin flames that could tell you about the up and downs. You know, the, the, the waters, the currents of a twin flame dynamic. Because subconsciously too, you are, you are blocking... Um, you're blocking advice from people. So you're going to the wrong people for advice. And your intuition is, is trying to tell you that. Like, you're talking to the wrong people. You know, and these people, they don't even really care about your relationship. They don't care about if you're happy or not in your relationship. Because you want to know why? Because these people are focused on themselves. You need to be focused on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will have victory, right? Victory is yours. 
You just need to say yes to yourself and say yes to life. Say yes to your new beginning. Say yes to the things that you want in your life and focus on that. It's okay to wait. You know, patience is a virtue for a reason. It really teaches you who you are. It shows you your resilience, your perseverance. It shows you your character. And that's what these things are building up right now. Right? So spirit wants you to deal with your issues of... Some of you have issues of self-worth. Some of you may feel like you're not good enough for your person. That's why they're not coming around. That's why your person is not dealing with you the way how you think that they should be dealing with you. But your intuition is trying to tell you otherwise. Yeah. Okay, Aries, this is a short reading, but I think it was pretty much to the point. Uh, please take a look at the programs offered in my um, description box. There is a link to my online store. They can help you deal with these issues. Also, uh, take a look at my playlist. I have all of Sophia Charles' playlists in my playlist, and they will show you and teach you how to deal with uh, the twin flame dynamic, how to deal with your person, how to deal with yourself. Yeah, because Divine Femme, victory is yours. You are going to get what you want. You just need to deal with these issues that you have inside. You need to acknowledge them. You need to acknowledge that you're doubting that uh, your person wants you, that you guys can actually work together and build something. You need to ask yourself why you believe that. Why do you think that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Aries, if you are looking for a personal reading, uh, please take a look at the information in my description box. There is a link there to my Etsy store where you can book your own personal reading and we can bang that out. We can get it done. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.